All right, it is Friday, and we are together, we are reading through Scripture together as a community, uh, dialoguing about it. And from today's Scripture, the verse that stuck out to me comes from the book of Leviticus, chapter 10, verse 10. And that says this, God is giving instructions and saying, he says, you must distinguish between what is sacred and what is common, between what is ceremonially unclean and what is clean. God is saying that you must distinguish between what is sacred and what is secular. Distinguishing between what is sacred, what is secular. So, so in this passage, Jesus is speaking to the Israelites and he is saying, uh, he's giving them the law. He's saying, here's, here's how you can distinguish between sacred and secular. And so he tells them, you can eat this and you cannot eat this. You can wear this and you cannot wear this. You can do this and you cannot do this. You can worship in this way and you are banned from worshiping this way because this is sacred and this is secular. And there is a clear distinction. And then Jesus comes along and blurs that distinction for us because we see with Jesus what was previously unclean to eat, he makes clean. What was previously banned for us to wear, we can wear. What things that were denied in worship before are allowed now. And here's the interesting part. When Jesus came, he did not do away with the law and say, and say God made a mistake. I can't believe he did that. No, 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 no. Jesus fulfilled the law perfectly. He followed God's instructions perfectly, thus making all of life sacred. So sacred and secular are God because of this. And so now if you're a Jesus follower, every part of your life is sacred. What you eat, what you drink, what you wear, uh, where you work, what you do for work, who you marry, uh, what you decide to do with your f f leisure time. All of this is part of worship. All of this is sacred. And so the sacred secular thing goes away because Jesus came and fulfilled the law so that we can be found righteous in him. Let's take this scripture and let's turn it back into prayer to him. Father, thank you for setting us apart as sacred through your son, making us holy, making us righteous through your son. Thank you that we get to worship in all of life and everything that we do matters. Everything that we do is sacred because all of life is found in you. We love you so much. and We thank you for giving us this purpose in this life. It's in your son's name that all of God's people said, Amen. If you'd like to join us, go to graceunitedlr.com, find the Bible study, or get on the app. See you next week.